Hey, this is Photoshop Merchant back again. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you how you can create this water drops effect. So let's begin. You'll need the leaf image right there. I'll put the link to that in the description. So let's begin. Uh, uh, when you open it, just unlock the background layer and add a new layer above it. And with your elliptical marquee tool, just hold shift and draw a perfect circle. Move that circle so that we can see it. Uh, with the gradient tool, make sure background uh, your background is white and foreground is black. Just like so. And drag from the top left corner to the bottom right corner, just like so. Control D and change the blend mode of that to overlay, just like so. And double click that and add a drop shadow of uh, uh, 50, uh, 50 opacity 50 percent and turn off use global light and make to 158 uh, set the distance to 7 and you're done with the drop shadow add an inner shadow and uh, just change the angle to minus 29 that's it for the first water drop so drag the water drop to the uh, just right there to where you position it and to call uh, recall that to shape just like so add a new layer and call it highlight highlight just like so and uh, before the brush tool uh, make sure you are a small size brush with full hardness switch uh, swap the foreground the background color and just add a click get a filter blur gaussian blur and make it around 1.3 pixel 1.3 pixels and just okay um, yeah that looks fine control click the both layers to select it just hit control g uh, uh, so that the making the group and duplicate that group okay to make more uh, or instead you can just press the alt key uh, make sure on the move tool the move tool sorry press the alt key and just make a copy of it just right there place it oops place it where you want to place it i want to place it right there control t to resize it make it smaller or bigger uh, it's your choice and just hit enter it and just hit enter alt uh, and alt and just uh, drag another one like that control T and make it smaller basically the smallest one of them just like so hit the enter key and uh, add a new one uh, sorry uh, press alt and drag another one just right so uh, control T and make it slightly bigger so to add more realism we want to enlarge the surface beneath it so we just open the, fir uh, the first group select the shape uh, con uh, select the background layer control click the thumbnail of the shape and and just and just uh, get, uh, get to filter liquify and just hit to filter liquify make sure you're on the blue tool yeah and just uh, uh, click one or two clicks right so to enlarge it to make it large okay just hit okay so uh, p basically you'll do the same to all of these uh, catch you after it so so when you done uh, liquefying that to make it look uh, greater we want to add some extensions to some drops so head back to the uh, highlight to the this drop and shift control x to bring the liquify select the warp tool oops you should be on the shape layer filter liquify you should be on the forward warp tool and just drag it like so. oops just uh, lower the brush density just a little bit and the size also and drag some around there, around there, around there, and just hit OK, and just hit OK. So uh, play with it until you get the desired results. Yeah, just like so. Play with it. Uh huh. Uh, you can get better results, I think. So uh, you got the idea. You got the idea. Uh, you should uh, liquefy that to the desired result to get uh, the results you want 
and just hit OK. So uh, we're done. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you uh, please, if you please comment, subscribe, rate, all uh, all sorts. Uh, just uh, if you dislike, like, please, please tell me. I reply to all comments, most of them. Thanks for watching. And if you want to download the final image, which will be this one or this one, uh, the word drops effect image, then I'll post the link to that in the description. Bye.